Ramadan, the most sacred month for Muslims around the world, where they go without food or water from sunrise to sunset. Fasting is one of many things to come from Ramadan, to get closer, strengthen their knowledge and devotion to Islam. Also during Ramadan, acts of charity are a must. And for most, staying active is too hard of a task. So I wanted to find out when is the best time to be training during Ramadan. It is 6 o'clock. We're on our way to the gym for the first day of working out. I low-key feel hyped and it could just be the pre-workout. Like... Uh, we're like halfway through the workout, it's actually been really good. This time is amazing, I'm not gonna lie. It's actually a really good time to come to the gym. It's just you can push yourself a bit too hard and then ruin the rest of the day for yourself. We'll see how it works out for me. Feeling great, I could have PR'd today. Like nothing's being hindered out of today's workout, which is like the best part about it all. You need to get your sleep schedule right, but if you do, it's game on. You're perfectly fueled, so it is the perfect time for a big workout. I'm back home now. It's eight o'clock but i need to get some work done so i'm gonna see how productive i can be that i've worked i've already worked out this morning i feel good i like i'm i've done my workout for the day might even try it again i never thought i would say that most people can't train at this time once you get home you are too tired to do anything but there is too much time to not do anything so that's the problem with it we are on day two. It does feel like it's starting to drain me now versus with the morning workout, I could continue the whole time. Most people can't work out at this time because they have work. But overall, it's good. I'm going to cut my workout a bit shorter because it does feel like it's draining me. As soon as I got back, I crashed. So because of that, and because I have no want to do anything, and there's so much time, I am going to vote this a four out of 10, because nah, it's too long. You come back from the gym and there's just, you're too exhausted to do anything, but there's too much time for you to like, just watch a movie or play something. Like you need to get work done. And in that time, you're just a bit too tired. So no. I do not rate it, man. I literally jumped on my bed and fell asleep, had a nap. On to the next one. Okay, so it's day three and it is my favorite one of all of them. I'm happy I'm, get I'm getting to actually do my favorite training session now. It's when you're about to go to eat. It's like an hour before you eat and you train. And that is easily one of my favorites. So I'm about to go train. I feel tired feel exhausted. I sat around all day. I don't like being lazy, but we're gonna go smash the workout. We'll see how it goes. I know it's going to be good because this is my favorite day of all of them. It's the experience that counts. The trying out the other days, even though you have a favorite, you know, trying to do something new. Be cautious with this one though. Because you are so dehydrated, there is so much room for injury. But other than that, it's an amazing time and you can push yourself knowing you are about to eat in an hour or so. All right, we are done the workout and I have to say it's still my favorite. You can work out really hard. You can give it your all and know you're about to drink and eat very soon. If you can get to the gym at this time, I know it's a struggle to get to the gym because you're so tired. But once you're there, you give it your all. And that's what makes it so worth it. Like I couldn't do my day-to-day -day tasks to my fullest ability. So I felt lazy and I was acting lazy and that put me into a bad mood. But then coming to the gym has completely corrected that. I'm in a great mood. I'm gonna go on a walk later. If there is any of the times you can go, it's this one. You need to go at this time. <laughs> You are very full during this workout and it's great to be hydrated, but you are very full. Let's be honest, nights are usually spent with family and friends or even just relaxing from a huge day. So that is why I'm rating this one a 7.5 out of 10. I hope you guys got some insight, some motivation, some will to go work out during that video. I really do hope it inspired you in some way, shape or form. I wish you all a great and successful, blessed Ramadan. If you enjoyed the video, it would mean the world to me if you press the subscribe button and like button. Thank you so much.